Well, the Oxley Creek Common, I think it's been most exciting since it was opened and gradually become protected from the sun because when it was first opened, everyone, I can hear them saying to me, Anne, why on earth would you want to walk along the common? It's so hot. And now, of course, we've planted so many trees. It's just beautifully shaded and the most wonderful walk that you could, that you could experience. Oxley Creek Common is a fantastic place for not just the local community but everyone in Brisbane really. A big range of people come here. The greatest number of people are bird watchers and bird photographers because it's one of the hotspots of birds in South East Queensland. 214 species have been recorded here. Oxley Creek Common uh, I think has almost the biggest bird list of any location in the whole of Brisbane City Council area. So Brisbane is one of the most biodiverse bird rich cities in the entire world. Uh, close to 400 species have been recorded from this general area and of those 400 species currently 214 species have just been recorded in the last 20 years here at Oxley Creek Common. Uh, on a good morning uh, a good bird watcher can find 80 species of bird in a two or three hour bird walk down to the lagoons here at the common. A couple of years ago I would have been attracted to the bird life here. I was a really <laughs> keen photographer um, and over the past year I'd say I've, I've just fallen in love with plants and um, I was really excited to start my project here because obviously I came here so much um, when I was doing a lot of photography um, and it, it's kind of interesting to see how my my love for this place has kind of changed from, I guess, a wildlife focus to a like, plant focus. And I guess that like, explains why Oxley is a really cool place because it can attract a lot of different people for different reasons. Walkers come to exercise. They can walk two kilometres down to the lagoons and back. They can walk down to a plantation of pine trees that have been there for many years. People can come and exercise their dogs in a leash-free area. People come just to enjoy the bush habitat. Some people bring their kayaks and put them in from the pontoon into Oxley Creek. And really, where do I start about what I like about the common? It's, to me, it's this green oasis. I see it every day on my way to and from work. I often drop in and take my dog to the dog off the leash area. And there are, you know, we're, we're surrounded here by light industry, like there's the Brisbane Markets, there's Sherwood Road, there's uh, a school just on the other side of Oxley Creek, and yet it's this, as I say, this little green oasis. It's a, a nice little area to get grounded, to come for a bushwalk, to come for a cycle, do a bit of bird watching. It's just got everything. I love it. Just, just really love it. Really nice, quiet area just to find yourself from time to time. Uh, yeah, I, I guess what I personally like about the common is the biodiversity, the bird life here. Professor Hugh Possingham, uh, over the last, I guess, more than 10 years, has made it pretty clear to me that this is a very special place for birds in Brisbane. Um, it's not uncommon to see uh, people with some of the biggest photographic equipment I've ever seen <laughs> coming through here of a morning. Um, it's clearly a special place. From a, you know, also a vegetation viewpoint, um, it's still got a very lovely fringe of riparian vegetation along the creek. Um, but I also love to think about what it would have been like in the past. It would have been some pretty impressive riparian rainforest on these alluvial plains um, mixed in with other things. So uh, to me, it, it, it's a, a very special part of Brisbane's biodiversity. There's a huge range of habitat here, which is, I think, what people like. And people will come and become enchanted by the fact that they're close to a farm in the middle of the city. Families come and often the Corinda High School animals are up close to the fence, which is a delight for a lot of little children.